An electric circuit is a closed path where electrons flow. It basically includes a device that gives energy to the electrons constituting the current, devices that use current, and the connecting wires. These symbols that you can see on your screen are the basic circuit elements such as wire, battery, light, switch, resistor, and fuse that we will be encountered during our discussion. So, for today, I present you experiment number 14 entitled Electric Circuit. The objective of this experiment is to construct an electric circuit consisting basic circuit elements and describe how each element affects one another. The experiment was done by doing 10 circuit models using the circuit experiment board, dry cells, connecting wires, fixed capacitor, and fixed resistor. Observations was noted on each of the 10 circuit models then it was sketched and annotated. The light bulb in circuit number 1 shows a high intensity of light since it was arranged in series where the current flows directly to the light bulb. In the second circuit, the current does not flow directly to the light bulb due to the presence of the switch that blocks the current. The intensity of light that a single light bulb generates in circuit number 3 decreased as another light bulb was added to the circuit, yet they both attained the same intensity of light when it was added noted that it is still in series. The fourth circuit shows that when the two light bulbs was arranged in parallel, the intensity of light that the two light bulbs generate is brighter than it was arranged in series as shown in circuit number 3. The fifth circuit was arranged similar to circuit number 4, but an additional light bulb was added on it. There are no changes in the intensity of light of the three light bulbs. It is just the same with the intensity of light shown in circuit number 4. The two light bulbs in circuit number 6 was arranged in series and it shown a lower intensity of light as compared to the light bulb parallel to them. Circuit number 7 has the same arrangement with circuit number 2. It is connected to a 1.5 volts dry cell and showed an average intensity of light. The voltage of the dry cell that was used in circuit number 8 was doubled into 3 volts wherein the intensity of light that the light bulb emitted was also doubled as compared to the previous circuit. Circuit number 9 was connected to a potentiometer where the intensity of the light emitted by the light bulb can be adjusted. The voltage in circuit number 10 was measured using a multimeter. It observed that when the switch is on the voltage measured by the multimeter was stable while when it is off the voltage was unstable. It is observed in the experiment that an increase in voltage will provide an increase in the intensity of light. As the number of light bulbs in series increases, the intensity of light emitted by each of the light bulbs decreases. And as the number of light bulbs in parallel increases, it creates no changes with the intensity of light emitted by each of the light bulbs. Different models of electric circuits were successfully constructed using the basic circuit elements. Making changes on the circuit such as increase or decrease in voltage input, used of different circuit elements, and arranging the circuit in series or parallel will cause changes in the intensity of light a light bulb emits.